up YouTube. Chip too hard, don't stand too close. You gon' come around and drown off this way. Doing all these shows. Y'all already know I'm back again with another video. No, but what's up? Today, I will be talking to you guys about working at Foot Locker and how to work at Foot Locker. I got my notes on my phone, that's what I'm looking at. So, basically, my part one kind of did good, and y'all was like liking that video a lot. I got a lot of DMs from people saying I watched your video and you know, stuff like that. So, I decided to make a part two to this. This part two is going to be basically for the sales associates, not the cashiers. But my part one can be for both cashiers and sales associates, but I'm a sales associate, not a cashier, so I can't really give you much advice on how to be a cashier at Foot Locker because I don't do that. All right. <laughs> so if you're watching this video, you pass your interview more than likely, or you about to start your first day, whatever, whatever the case may be, you're just interested in what's it like working at Foot Locker and how to work at Foot Locker. Am I right? I'm psychic, I know. What's it like? Busy, fast, and fun. So I'm gonna say that it's busy because it's busy. Like it's a shoe store, it's one of the top shoe stores of the nation. So you're going to be getting customers left and right, especially if a new release just came out. Um lately, this month we had a lot of Jordans and a lot of Yeezys. Yeezys are in Foot Locker now, so that's something that a lot of people are coming for. So it's gonna be really busy. So expect business. Um, it's fast because when it's busy, you must be fast. Like the main goal of working at Foot Locker, you're trying to get everybody in and out, in and out, in and out. And if you're not doing that, you know, you gotta, you gotta do that. <laughs> um, but at the same time, even though it's busy and fast, it's also fun. I say it's fun because you're interacting with a lot of people. If you like interacting with people, it's going to be super fun. Um, your coworkers should be really cool too. Everybody that get hired, at least at my place, I'm cool with everyone. It's really fun and it becomes like a family-based thing, but you must sell. <laughs> How do you work there? You must be fast. When I say that, I don't mean you need to be running and stuff. You don't have to be academic, academic. You don't have to be an athlete or anything like that nature but you must keep up with the pace of stuff. You to keep up with the customers. You got two customers come in, you gotta go grab two shoes. Like, you know, try to multitask if it's possible for you. That's a good one. Be friendly and kind. Be friendly and kind to everybody. Like, even if you're not a friendly person, if you're not a friendly person, you shouldn't work at Foot Locker because that's the main thing of the job is you're trying to sell. You're trying to sell. And who wanna buy from somebody that's mean? If somebody comes up to you with a really angry, nasty attitude, you're not gonna wanna buy from them. Nobody's gonna wanna buy from them. So you must be kind and you must be cool. Not cool, but like just be yourself, but a happier version if it's possible, if you're not genuinely happy. You must be professional and chill at the same time. So you know, you can be professional like me, for example. I call everybody sir and ma'am, sir and ma'am, until I get cool with that customer. And I, like, yeah, exactly, cool with that customer. So I kick it with my customers a lot. And they just be like, okay, so what do you like to do? Blah, 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 blah. Once you get it like aspect of that type of stuff, you don't have to like, carry on a conversation and get personal or anything. You know, just get some basic stuff about people and you will be able to know what type of shoes you can, you know, try to sell to them. Like for example, um, I had a customer come in there. He had Jordans on. I was like, oh, I see you got some Jordans. No, we just got them red 12s over there. And he's like, oh, for real? Let me see them. Like, stuff like that. Like, you just got to be observant and be really cautious, I guess that's the word. That ties in into learning how to take rejection. Um, if somebody doesn't want your help, they just don't want your help. And you can't be mad at that because you might not want somebody help at somebody else's store. You feel me? So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of rejections. Um, it's going to be a lot of wasting times. Like, you're going to get people that make you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then they don't want the shoe at all. That's gonna happen a lot. When I first realized that that happened, I was angry. But I wasn't angry more so, I was kind of frustrated. And you're probably gonna be frustrated too because you're like, whoa, that is wasting my time. Like, it's okay though. You're going to, you gotta keep moving on. Sometimes you're gonna get lucky and get customers that buy a lot of shoes, and those are gonna be some great days. Like the other day, I had a customer, she came and bought seven pairs of Concords good check <laughs> and then you're gonna have other customers that come and they only buy a few shoes that's okay as long as you're selling and you're making money that's cool too always always look busy like if there's if the store is empty or whatever just try to make it look busy i guess 
by you can fold some clothes or something like that you know just try to make it look busy because that surprisingly will attract people to the store like oh they're kind of packed no try to make something look advertising help as many people as you can don't be scared to walk up to someone help everybody that you can literally like i just said if somebody is standing there and you don't know if they've been helped or not already go and ask them like there's nothing wrong with asking somebody if they've been helped if they say yes i mean don't help them if they say yes don't help them if they say no help them and um yeah know what you're talking about or fake it till you make it when i was gonna say this i mean people come in here all the time i don't wear basketball shoes at all i really just started learning about basketball shoes people come, up, people come in there and they say oh them Kyrie fives are they comfortable or whatever but yeah they're comfortable they're Kyrie's. come on like talk like that and you'll kind of build up oh okay they're comfortable and then you could also say stuff like i mean you could always try them on like you know try to just build their trust together and once you build the trust they're gonna be like okay i'm about to get it's kind of like a way of persuading and selling at the same time and you know yeah <laughs> try to slickly i think that's the word slickly slyly whatever try to sell on the low like don't try to force it like somebody come in there and they be like oh i'm looking for let me think somebody come in and they be like I don't really like shoes. I just need something comfortable. And you'd be like, oh, yeah, me neither. I don't really like shoes that much either, to be honest. But, you know, I just got these new comfortable Roshis. Like, you want to see what they look like? Yeah, they're real comfortable. Keep it going like that. And then be like, once you do that, they're going to be like, oh, okay. You know, you're going to build a bond. Like, that's basically the, the gist of everything that I'm saying right now is building a bond to sell. You... Your goal is to try to have every customer leave out with a bag. And of course, that's not going to happen, but that's the goal. Be enthusiastic. I cannot express that enough. People will not buy from you if you look like... If you look like that, if you look angry, if you look mad, if you look just disgusted with your life, like you don't want to be there, people are going to come up to you. People may come up to you, but for the most part... I doubt people will because they want to go up to somebody that's, hey, how you doing? Need help? All right. Let me know if you do. My name is yada, 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 so on and so on. I'll be over here. People like that, people that talk, people that are enthusiastic and people that are just bubbly. You don't have to be overly perky or anything like that, but you just have to like keep a smile on your face, you know, try to just be a little, uh, I don't even know the word. Just try to make people want to come to you, make people want to be your customer. Don't hog the customers. Many people feel as though they need every customer to themselves, but that's not cool for your other coworkers because remember they're trying to make money as well. Um, I'm not. I'm not saying every customer that comes to you go, oh, they over there, they help you. Don't do that. That's stupid. But don't hog your customers either. Like say, for example, if you're on the kids wall and your friend is on the Nike wall, someone comes up to you and they're like hey, um, do you guys have Air Force Ones, the originals, whatever? And then you're gonna say, yeah, I have a coworker right over there on the Nike wall. He can show you where the Air Force Ones you're looking for are at. He can show you also where yada yada is at. You know, just, it's okay to pass off customers, especially if you're busy. Now, if you're not busy and you can go over there and help somebody, you can do that. But if it's um, quite busy or whatever, you should just kinda focus on your zone. You'll learn more about zones once you get the job. Or if you already have the job, then you already know that what the zone is. But um, if your zone is empty or whatever, and you have spare time to help that customer, or if it's not busy, then help that customer. But if you know that you're busy, and you can't do it right away, and our goal is to get these customers in and out the door, it's okay to pass it on to somebody. You're gonna get your money, baby. Don't be afraid of competition. A lot of people are scared of competition. Like, oh, Sally and Susie doing way more of me way more than me and this that, and the third when in reality all you gotta do is just step your game up and i know that might not be easy at first because it wasn't easy at me it's like my third fourth month there and i'm still not an amazing employee as i should be not should be as i could be um but i'm building myself up so all you have to do is build yourself to the point where you want to be and you're gonna get there simple 
Um, and the last important thing about working at Foot Locker or how to work at Foot Locker is just have fun. At the end of the day, you're working at a job where you're selling shoes to people like athletes, um, people that love shoes, and just people in general. Like you just want to talk to people, you want to make bonds, um, build bonds with customers, have like What's the words? I forgot. I can't, I'm asking y'all like y'all can talk back right now. The word um, returning customers. You want to have returning customers. You want to just build a lot of different things in order for you to just have a great time at your job. The job itself is really fun, especially if you're young like me. I'm 16. It's cool. It's a way to get away, I guess you could say. That's all wrong. I should be a rapper. It's a lot that you can do. Like you, you'll see a lot of people you may know. You may see. In my case, I met Chris Sales. Um, I saw Cash Style Mother. Yeah, like it's a lot of different things that you could do as you're working at Foot Locker, and it's just a fun job in general. If you once you get the hang of everything, your coworkers should be nice. Um, like I said, the coworkers at my place are nice and cool. I don't know if they're everywhere, but at the same time, it's a job. You're not there to make friends anyway. But at the end of the day, you will because it's just that chill of an environment. And that's really all I really have to say. I hope this video helped you guys. If you want a part three, if you want a part three to this video, let me know in the comments down below. And I will. And like and subscribe for more. I have more videos coming for you guys. And that's it. We are out. I will see you guys later.